Hello, everybody, and welcome back. We're watching more Gumball. If you guys want us to watch more Gumball, then get this video to 10,000 likes. And we're streaming this on our Twitch channel, which you can click at the top of the description and come watch us live. And subscribe. 90% of you haven't pressed that button. You should do it now. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. I'm in a nightmare! Stop! Pretty mama, handsome daddy. Who is this? <laughs> oh, Mr. Cornet, who would have thought you'd be so... Oh, that arm feels a lot more withered than I thought it was gonna be. You know, this is kind of progressive. Like, men can be abused, too. Men can lie to get in a relationship with women. Wait, you're saying boys are lying? Boys are liars? Oh, he Stop. is Aaliyah. Stop. He is Aaliyah. No, he is Aaliyah. No, he is Aaliyah. No, he's Aaliyah. He's Aaliyah. Teach us how to become tough fighter guys. But if you rearrange the letters of tough fighter guy, you get tighter of hug guy. That's <laughs> such a stretch. That's not even like a proper sentence. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 oh, no. My. We're not doing this. We're no, there's a kiss. Again. There's a kiss already. Again. There's literally a kiss already. We are two minutes into the recording. This is one of the most gayest scenes in Gumball. <laughs> Um, technically that's super unrealistic because wind technically blows in like a consistent direction like it would just go from one side to the other side like gamepad matt theory literally talked about that in his video <gasps> an M -M 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 -A challenger fight <laughs> i'm sorry but oh my god he's gonna fight jake paul please mr cornet let's lose the formality Woo! Woo! whoa i didn't know she had these luscious blonde locks on my right we have the reigning champion joel the grave there is an artist on Tumblr who is obsessed with Fist Man. That's all I'm saying. That's an evolved version of the thumb guys from Spy Kids. Where's the rest of him? He looks like one of those before and after ads, but before the gym and after a disease. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good roast, actually. Have you ever thought, I want a box with cool stuff every month? Then you need the sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post. You get high quality products from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel at any time. It's like Christmas every month. <laughs> Suck on that, Santa. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in in the US. The knife in the tarot box is made by Bare Bones, based in Salt Lake City. Every month, Bespoke Post members are introduced to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more. It's all based on your preference after you fill out a quiz on their site. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. What a great deal. Preview your box before it's shipped. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you. And before it's shipped, you can preview it and decide if you want to keep it, swap it out with a different box, or skip the month at no charge. You only get the stuff you want. I got the Weekender box with this amazing heirloom level carry-all bag. It's great for storing everyday items when going on a small picnic or a day trip. Plus, it's stylish with a clean and sleek design. I'm already getting a lot of use out of it when visiting friends and family who live a little far away. It's easy to pack up and look good while doing it. Bespoke Post hooked me up with the Park Box, featuring their compact camp chair, which is actually one of their best sellers. What surprised me about this chair is just how small it is. Lately, I've been snugging it into my trunk and taking it on the go with me. It's easy, super portable, and super comfy. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter STM20 at the checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash STM20. Oh, come on! How can you sweep when your opponent is capable of this? That was a friendly match against the U.S. Navy. A friendly match? Dude, this is the one-man army that the U.S. needs. Do they need him? They're gonna put him on a drone, dude. Don't worry. They're gonna send him in. This is a sick this is montage. Crazy. I, love, I love this montage. I just can't <laughs> help but think of like the Family Guy episodes where they'll just cover, they'll just play like a popular song or cover it for like 45 seconds straight. How? Show us. How on earth are you going to hit this guy? With my heart like this. What? What? He He's tried to so kill his strong. demons, but they learned how to swim. That's how he got so strong. Yo, yo, that that goes hard though. Why does this go oh fucking my hard? God. I love this guy. Look, Mr. Cornet, I, 
Oh my god. No, yes! you get the kiss after the fight. You get he ruined it. He jinxed it. He literally jinxed it. He's about to get his ass fucking destroyed. I'm not a fighter. I just lied because I wanted to smooch the nurse. I wanted to smooch the nurse. That you got hurt in the cage. When I said I walked into the cage, I meant I walked into the hamster cage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Well, on the plus side, we still get the money to save the school. <laughs> <laughs> he died. That man is fucking... Editor, can you put a live leak logo over that final fucking squish? Dude, when I was a senior in high school, that just reminded oh me, like, that was when this singing Halo This reminds you of your high school experience? Oh, yeah. No, oh, no, because singing Halo theme in yeah. the bathroom was really popular. I remember we would get, like, 40 dudes in the bathroom just to sing the Halo theme because the acoustics were amazing. You might be wondering how things got to this point. It all started yesterday evening. You're probably wondering why I'm in this situation. How are we supposed to raise awareness for the children of tomorrow if we have low blood sugar today? Maybe your generation should have thought about our future before ruining the economy. True. And the education system. True. <laughs> Yo, what is going on right now? Why is Gumball spinning, dude? Is he going to become the candidate? Is Gumball running for president in this episode? I would vote. Dude, Gumball would be a great president. One fell off Playing on that they were being forced to watch like those shitty YouTube kids videos right there. That looked like the fucking Wojak counting bugs video. <laughs> okay, I'd like to point out that as my parents paid for half of this fundraiser, 90% of that cookie belongs to me. Half always equals whatever Tobias wants? <laughs> what? Yo, they're literally getting into the fucking manipulation of textbooks. This is crazy. Yeah, Annie's. You think you're so woke, but if you truly cared about the cause, you'd be giving that food to the endangered- She said woke. She said you think you're so woke, Annie's. The door's locked, Joe. That's the main part of our problem. Not according to my sources. And where are you getting your information from? www.neckbeardfrogalternativetruth.ru Oh my goodness. This is very on the nose. This is the woke- what? We also what the fuck is this Whoa. episode right now? I concur. If the temperature continues to rise at this rate, in three hours, this room will be lit. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> My boy's got it. in here. What? That's oh my terrifying. God. That oh this my is God. disturbing. That is body horror. She just <laughs> shitted out her body. She, she just shitted, shitted out all the ice cream. Body what the fuck is happening in this fucking scene? Vote for progressive distribution, not regressive attribution. My slogan is much clearer. Vote for me and I'll keep everything for myself. Oh my goodness. Did this shit come out in like 2016 or something? Like, is this like an anti-Trump episode or something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. How about this for a slogan? <laughs> 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 yeah. Was what was the noise yeah. that the voice actor just made there? If we use everyone's skills, we could pull through this together. Tobias, what are you doing? Throwing money at the problem. Okay, money isn't the solution to every problem. They're twenties. They were twenties too. What? What is this that's plot commentary like? That Tobias though. is like extremely rich. I feel like they've never made this joke before. Don't worry, I'll fix this. Of course. The natural healing properties of plants. Oh no. I mean, she might not make it, but at least she'll go down on fleek. <laughs> on oh fleek. Oh my on god. Fleek. On fleek. What? I'm done. What? I'm they, your honor. they have said woke and on fleek in this episode. What and is lit. happening? And they said lit. Too. What I'm is gonna happening? Die, I'm going to die on cringe IRL. This is the most bro. 2016 episode ever. The important thing is we all work together. It means there's still hope for the future. We can leave the school a better place than we Oh my, they blew up the school. Okay. <laughs> Slug gumball be like. <laughs> I've already been late the ones this week. Well, three times if you count the other two times. So I can't let her catch me again or she'll give me detention. And there's no way she's gonna- Why? What? He had her what? milk under what? their bed. What is it with old people and getting up this early? I guess you're just trying to drag out the last few days of life you got left. Anyways, have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> My 10 second countdown. 10. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, season six is fire. Like, what Bruh, the hell? This episode is bars. One. You're late. Detention. <laughs> he literally shit him out there. Relax, don't tire yourself out. Avoid any bone. Oh 
Oh my goodness, this is the episode we just watched. Clayton was there. Clayton was there the whole time. Oh, this is like Mr. Poopy Butthole in Rick and Morty. We're not all like you, Gumball, running around stopping the school from being blown up or wrestling an alligator. Stopping the school from being blown up? I think most of the time he's responsible. <laughs> I do not sound like that. I, oh my god. I do not sound like that. <coughs> oh, yeah, that's better. What? Did they just change voice actors in the middle of the episode? No, it's me, Clayton. I'm doing like you said. Now I'm Rocky. Dude, you can't drive. Oh, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> the comedic timing in this episode is like very Gen Z, I feel like. I'm Dr. Uh, Dr. Man. Uh, here to do. Whoa, it's a p file. Wait, Clayton's over there. Wait, who is the doctor then? Quick, Clayton, turn into a bird! Okay! No, not a nerd, a bird! You know, like an eagle! Got it! <laughs> a beagle! <laughs> this is so stupid. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to <laughs> you! Oh my god! <laughs> this is this hilarious! Is so fucked no, up! No, poor Tobias! <laughs> Typical, salted, humble? Then that's Clayton! Shh! Sorry! And that's Clayton. This is getting confusing. This episode thinks he's Doodle Bob. Like, you're not Doodle Bob, bro. That was close. <gasps> okay, well, as you're already down there. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Darwin is at, like, a ginormous advantage right now. Like, he's literally an amphibious creature. Is he not better at swimming? Can he not catch up? So just because he's a fish, you think he's good at swimming? Jesus well, Christ, yes. man. Yes, Core. <laughs> that is yes, fucking yes. yes. Okay, okay. Just Fuck assuming. You, yeah, said it. Like... you said it. Oh my god. Hey, I one told little you. Fin. What did I fucking say? You were right. Oh my god, it's swimming. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not racist. I'm sorry. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. What about Gumball? <laughs> Oh, damn. That's pretty cruel. It's a crocodile. Alligator. Oh, my God. Foreshadowing in the earlier episode. Clayton was like, you're going to fight an alligator. Stand back. <laughs> Bro, Clayton could literally be like the most harmful creature in the entire world, though. Oh, I thought he was the football for a second. I thought he was doing some weird masochistic shit there for a second. I don't get it, man. To be honest, I, I don't. Get it, but like, I actually it's don't chill. get the ending of that episode. <laughs> Oh, low key good singer. Why is he picking children to sit? What the? Why is he looking like <laughs> this? Seems weird. So, Miss Simeon means everything to me. And when I say everything, I mean every terrible thing as well. Oh, dude, I feel you. Wait, do you mind if I call you, dude? Only if I can call you, bro. Bro, 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 sound effect. Bruh. <laughs> Clown gargling a haunted accordion. Why don't you tell her? Is he shit talking his gif? It's girl talk, man. It's girl talk. Bruh. When, when he's talking with his bruh, bruh, it really like opens up his heart and like it opens up his mind so he can talk to his brother all of his problems. You know, help each other out. I see what you mean. Do you? So if Gumball were to wear headphones, would he wear them at the top of his head? Because like his ears are all the way at the bottom of his head. Can you play the harp sound effect? At the beginning of the episode, he was he had the headphones on his head. Aren't those his ears at the bottom? You're right. You're fucking right. <sighs> Ugh. Oh, I hate this. What is happening? Miss Simeon has bad breath. I think the baddies are allowed to have one problem. And if the baddie has bad breath, then like let her be. <sighs> Oh my god! Oh you, they're getting my. fucking Thanos snapped right now! One out of three! That's the best you've ever scored! Well done, Watterson! Hip! Hip! Hooray! Ew. <laughs> That's disgusting. What? If you think you can wuss out of this, you got another thing coming. You promised to tell Penny that- Wait, 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 watch out! <laughs> Yo! What? I can see you, Principal Brown. No, you can't. <laughs> what? Is a, is the <laughs> Wait, he's in the painting. <laughs> what? How the fuck can he's he in just the... do that? And remember to use your handbrake next time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Wait, has Gumball just been missing for like days and his family hasn't done anything? <laughs> You should be careful about threatening me, Watterson. I control everything in this school. If, say, a teacher was to look in your locker tomorrow- <laughs> She's gonna set Gumball up? This is not what I thought the episode was gonna be about. That, that's just the classic Gumball formula where halfway through the episode, they just change what the episode <laughs> is gonna be about. <laughs> you big-headed fool! The principal is a fucking evil James Bond villain. What was that about? 
sorry. I thought it would be a trap door or something. <laughs> what was that button for? Appropriate music. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. That was one of the best fucking jokes in Gumball, man. Well, that'll teach you for trusting a handshake, won't it, Watterson? You used me! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my- I feel like I've seen this exact twist in like 10 different movies. All because I was scared of telling Penny Fitzgerald about a stupid laugh. A laugh that sounds like- They're <laughs> <laughs> standing right by me, aren't they? They literally said it. They literally said it. Jack predicted the fucking episode. I don't know, dude. I just don't think this camouflage is working. And it's getting really hot in this. What? I thought it might snow. They're dripped, though. What the They've got, like, the camo on it, too. They look like Kanye and his new wife. Hello. Sir? Come on now. I've known you for years. You don't need to call me sir. You can call me by name. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, no. That's awkward, man. That's fucking oh, hilarious. Oh, he's so dude. sad. Gosh darn it. <gasps> what the fuck? I like how they're, they're immediately put in the most insane situation of all time. <laughs> but I have to pick up these grapes. Him the paramedics. Why? I'm pretty sure the paramedics is not his name. They just saw him get run over by a train and what? they didn't oh, call alive. the doctor. He's fine. This isn't a flashback. Couldn't they just like open up his mailbox and look at his mail really quickly to find his name? That's a felony. It's only a felony if you steal the mail. What's he trying to deliver anyway? It's probably for me. I don't know that guy's name either. Richard looks like me for real, man. Oh my bro, god. Bro, he looks like my fucking ball sack, bro. <laughs> Isn't it illegal to go through someone's mail? What's worse, being locked in a prison or being locked in a prison? It's not illegal. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. It's just not suggested by law, okay? Keep in to whom it may concern to the resident. No one knows <laughs> his name. They literally had my exact same fucking idea and it didn't work. Ross the Darwin? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Why does that look so good. good on Darwin, though? Like, it looks I so good. Damn it, Ann. No, wait. We need direct action and we need it now. Ugh. <sighs> Yo, the fro! <laughs> Why did he add the fro, though? Package delivery. Sign here. What? But I'm the mailman for this neighborhood. No. No! <laughs> no, this is so sad. This old guy's so wholesome. Hey, you too. That guy on your poster. What the what? fuck? Hello, Harry Gidges. Who told you that was my name? He's on witness protection. <laughs> no, fuck. This is the Better Call Saul. But that's not me. What the oh fuck? Oh my god, what? I've been living under a pseudonym for the last 20 years. It looks more like a fedora, Harry Gidges. Not my hat, a suit. Yo, why does this- This looks awesome. If my life wasn't in immediate danger, I'd be really hurt right now. <sighs> it's Gary Hedges. Hmm. This is so stupid. Why would they- They have guns? This is fucking Happy. Oh. I'm watching Happy Wheels gameplay. <laughs> Actually, Hello? that scene was brain melting. Now I get to keep my life in my beautiful home. It was meant to look like you were in the house when it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather we call you Harry Gedges or Gary Hedges? I'd rather you never talk to me again. Damn. Well, that's a cool. That ending. was pretty Jesus. brutal. What the fuck? They literally like Gumball is just ruining so many fucking people's lives. Well, as a medical practitioner, I don't like the sound of this at all. But as a part-time DJ, I am kind of feeling it. Me and my dogs would keep it a hundred. What? God, what is with Cartoon Network? And this is so bad. This is really terrible. Song. Just as I suspected. Your daughter's been face palming at your stupidity for so long it's becoming dangerous. Take a look at this ex- Your daughter is face palming so hard her brain is being destroyed. Hey guys, can you just get on with it? Oh yeah, sorry. Five milkshakes and a double- triple cheeseburger. For the fifth time, sir, this is a hospital park. Yo, it's us! What? That's our guy. Our logo is a character? Two cheeseburgers, please, and uh, hold the pickle. <laughs> Oh, he's dead! He spilled the milk. He spilled Guys, the milk. <laughs> please clap in the chat. It is necessary that we make this joke every single time that it happens. Huh? Someone call the FBI. We have a serial killer here. 
Oh, orange juice. Orange, you glad these were on- Oh my god, I fucking hate this per- The person that is like having way too much fun at their job and is like clearly it's like you should be you to soulless, have a conversation. Right? With it, I am a dill. I'm still working at the till. Earn a diamond, earn a nickel. <laughs> this, is the, <laughs> this is the worst <laughs> episode. <laughs> what? It's, Why is there so much the bad that rapping in this episode? In okay, I'm not getting into a fight with a teenager. Call your supervisor, please. Bobby to the checkout. That's Bobby to the checkout. How can Bobby help? <laughs> We've seen this character before, right? Have we seen this episode before? I think it's just the same joke because this is the same thing at the return store for the video games. Hello? Hi, honey, so yeah. They literally looks like they took Anais's frontal lobe. Like she is not like aware of her surroundings whatsoever. Free candy! <laughs> Whoa. What? The animation there was pretty cool. It looked like the fucking like GTA wasted for a second there. Yeah, yeah, when it, when it just kind of fades in and out like the FOV. What's wrong with your sight? What are those? They're just giant pills? What is happening? What is I going on? I think she on? actually did have her frontal lobe removed. She's like lost all awareness of her surroundings. Gosh, hmm? None of this is real. <laughs> what? Richard. My yeast cannot be exposed to any form of stupidity for an entire week. <gasps> Nine whole days? Ugh. He died. <laughs> you were legally dead. Dude, this is just like the Pokemon theory where everything, this is like the theory for every single cartoon ever made where everything was just a dream. And if you think everything was just a dream, click the end card to watch all our gumball videos. Thanks for patrons. Thank you, Ace and Hole, Alan, Alfredo, Argafargador, Autumn, Blackman, Bubs, Case, Crescent, Dan, Dan Tepic, Detone, Deadman, Dusty, Dylan, Doggo, Duck, Elizabeth, Fat Pup, Trev, Heather, Helmboy, K99, Caitlin, Kamui, Carter, Kia, Kyla, Esses, Madison, Mario, Matthew, Michael, Delta, PBJ, Ryan, Sam, Simpson, Warmer, Chimar, Tatum, Trippy, Ducky, True, Whitavers, Yothog, Angel, Texan, Atomic, Ava, Black Knight, Blank, Bunny, Corgi, Daniel, Daniel, Hyena, Forrest, Jake, Chrisito, King Red, Marquizel, Matthew, Netlith, Quentin, Arthur, Mercy, Rashawn, Reverted, Stellar, Sully, Tech, Tyson. Thanks.